Hi, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. Romans chapter 10, verses 8 and 9. The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the message concerning faith that we proclaim. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Good news can seem so far away. You get up early and you have breakfast, and it's a great time to check out the daily news and start your day, but the news for the day makes you want to crawl back into bed. We're used to this. In this world, we're used to good news always being far away, out of reach. What joy it is today to hear words from the mouth of God, who says through his apostle Paul, the word is near you. The word he's talking about is the good news of the Savior and what he means for you and me. This word is not far away or out of reach. This word is near you, we're told. First of all, he says, it is in your mouth. But is it really? You and I know very well what sinful pride does to the words in our mouth. We give too much attention to our words of anger, the ones that are meant to sting or do the most damage. And we give too little attention to words of love and forgiveness. We talk about ourselves a lot too. If we're struggling to find the words God has put in our mouths, there's only one approach that will help us. We need his word in our hearts. We need his condemnation of our sin, yes, but that's not all. We need God's gracious word of forgiveness in Jesus. We need the word and promise connected to our baptism and to the Lord's Supper. This message of Jesus warms inwardly first. It radiates into the darkest chambers of our souls and makes God's message clear. Listen, fellow sinner, you are forgiven of all your sins, not just sins of speech, but sins of thought and deed, even the sin you were born with, so am I. Even though we are weak and disobedient and can't keep God's commandments, God sent his son, Jesus Christ. Our Savior chose to take our sins and God raised him again. In Jesus, all is forgiven, fellow sinner. Everything we've ever done wrong, everything we ever should have done right, God loves us. What a wonderful message we get to take to heart. But don't think it will stay there in our hearts. We can't help speaking about what we have seen and heard. The message of our Savior radiates, radiates also to our mouth and we profess our faith. Sometimes with fellow believers, like when we confess the Nicene Creed or the Apostles' Creed in church, but sometimes on our own, like when we tell God's word to others, the word that means eternal life for all who believe. Every bit of bad news in this world pales in comparison to that. Are you longing for good news that always seems far away? We need to hear God's word every day. It's not because we've forgotten what it says. It's because we haven't. Whatever we've said or done wrong is forgiven in Jesus. We haven't forgotten this good news, and we need to hear it over and over. God loves us no matter what. What good news? And it's not far away at all. We don't have to climb up to heaven to get it. God sends his Holy Spirit to us in word and sacraments. The word is near you, fellow believer. It is in your mouth and in your heart. See you next time.